Hello guys, welcome back to Planet Ham. So today guys, we're gonna be checking out Shell Nell and I'm so excited to get into this. But before we hop in, please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And also make sure you guys turn on my post notifications so you guys get notified once I post again. Let's get into this video. So yes guys, we finally have Shell Nell in hand, the black queen. And she's, she's gorgeous, but there's some things about her that I just can't wrap around my head. You know what I'm saying? Girl, shut the fuck up. You thought you ate? <laughs> so, you know, let's just start off from the top and work our way down. So, Chanel is a stylist. And I honestly live for that because I like that they all kind of have like their own little things that they do, kind of like how Rainbow High does. So, Chanel's hair is this very like light blue and it is so, so pretty in person, especially. Like it's really, really pretty. And as you guys know, she has this little bow at the top of her head. No, no, I know a lot of people don't like this bow and they think it's ugly, but like I miss dolls that have hairstyles that's like, well, I don't even want to touch her hair because you know, this hairstyle looks so perfect. You know, Rainbow High, we get pretty like simple hairstyles, you know, it's not nothing super intricate and you know, complex, you know, they're very kind of simple hairstyles. And I kind of miss having hairstyles like this. Now, if you don't know, this bow, this hair piece right here is a whole separate piece, girl. Yeah, it's a whole separate piece. I'm not gonna take it off, but it is. The hair that's wrapped around it, that's a whole like, yeah, it's two separate pieces. This whole thing, this bow can literally just come out and I could just hold it right here, girl. Right here, right here, right here. Yeah, it's not, it's not connected in any way. So I guess that kind of helps with like, what happens when you mess up the bow? I don't know if you're gonna be able to get it perfect like that. I'm not gonna take it down to see. I'm not gonna take it down to try, girl. I already did go through and wash her hair and her hair wasn't bad before. It was just a little thick, you know? It was like a little frizzy and stuff. And I feel like washing it definitely helped a little bit. I used conditioner. I feel like she's looking nice. The hair is really long. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do love the hair quality on these dolls. The hair is very, very nice. It's very much rainbow. I think it's nylon, just like Rainbow High dolls have. So I live for that. It's really, really soft. But this blue is so pretty. Now, the only problem I have with the hair is the way that they rooted it up here in the very, very front. If you peek like through here, just like you can see some of the scalp up there. And that's the only thing that bothers me. But other than that, the hair is on. I love the colors. Down to her face. Now, th that's the thing with these with these mermaid with these mermaids mermaids dolls. Like the faces just sell, just sell them all the way. The makeup is phenomenal. The makeup is amazing. Like they do some some makeup looks I would love to see on Rainbow High. Like some of their makeup looks are just like very intricate and well well done. Stuff that we don't really see on Rainbow High. Like they're very very detailed. Like I live for it. I live. Like look at her. Get into her. She has like silver and blue makeup. Get into her glossy pink lip. She's so, so pretty. The eyebrows. Overall, she's just everything. She also has like these icy like blue earrings. And they're very, very cute. I think I would just like to see a little bit more like underwater themes throughout her outfit. Her necklace matches her um, earrings a little bit and also has like this white around it. It's a really, really cute necklace. It goes really, really well with her earrings. Well, it's like more like a choker, not necessarily a necklace. So real quick, I'm gonna show you her fur coat and then I'll take it off to show you the top under it. So her fur coat, it's really, really nice. I love the color. It looks really good on Robin and I'm so I'm sure it would look good on Daphne and Gabriella because like the color of it, it's like this bluish kind of mint color. She also has like these little sleeve things. I didn't know how I felt about these at first because they just feel kind of, I don't know, they're just kind of like, I don't know, like they have no place. Like I don't really know how they're supposed to look. I'm guessing they're supposed to like be like this. But like they're cute. Like it gives me very rich, it gives me very much money. Like I live for it. It's like this cute little detail, you know, they didn't have to really add up in there. And I absolutely love it. So real quick, you guys, I just want to show you guys her bag. This is her little purple shell nail bag. It says her name on the front of it. This is very, very nice. I really like it. It's supposed to be like this Chanel perfume bag right here. And I honestly love it. It's so, so cute. This is definitely like one of the pieces I was most excited for from her. Also, their hands do come off if you pinch, if you pinch right here and like twist and kind of pull really, really gently, you can get her hands off. But this is her top. 
and I don't have a problem with it. Like the bow top, okay, cute, you know, cute, whatever. Be extra, girl, because I live for extra. I love extraness. Like, yeah, be extra. You know what I'm saying? Be over the top. I live for it. But my only thing with this is, is it feels like it just doesn't look right to me. Like, it looks like it's off. Like, the way that they stitch it, like, one side looks, like, bigger than the other side. And it just looks really weird. And then it doesn't feel like it's placed directly in the middle. Like, I feel like I have to shift her shirt a little bit to get it directly in the middle where I want it. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, it, I don't know, looking at it on camera, it looks perfect. But, like, I don't know if it's... I don't know if you guys can really tell what I'm saying, but it doesn't really like look like smack dab in the middle like I would like it to. Okay, coming down here, she has like this little collar that's supposed to be a part of her tweet, like jacket, tail. Um, I, I wanna like this, like I do like it, the idea of it, but I hate that it doesn't stay. Like it very much moves around a lot. And then she also has like this little chain belt, which is not an actual chain, but I don't know. Like th this is where I don't know really how to feel because I do like this piece. I just wish it fit differently. And this belt, I wanna like it, but I don't know. It just feels so like, I don't know. It just feels like very Barbie fashionista to me. I don't know why. I really hate, cause I love my mermaids mermaids. I really, really do. It's just this piece is just probably not my favorite. Not my favorite tail accessory, but they did have the little seashell hanging off right here, and I love that. It says MRMD. Like, it's cute. Like, the idea of it was cute. And see, I probably wouldn't hate this. I probably wouldn't dislike this piece so much if this fit properly, too. Like, if these two pieces fit perfectly, like, if they were nice and they set right, I would probably like them more. But I just don't, like, you moving around, like, it just, I don't know. I just don't really like that, you know? I don't really like that. I just wish it set like perfectly like this and was more snug. You know, I hate the loose fit. There we go. Okay, so down to her tail, which is supposed to be like this tweed jacket, has little pockets at the top and it's like very textured. Like it kind of feels like a, like a jacket. Uh, it does have pearls coming down both sides, has little pockets that don't actually work, but has little pockets up there, has little wrinkles and stuff kind of going throughout it. It's really, really nice. Has this little buckle down here and this little and this zipper coming down the tail. Now she is the hardest one out of all the ones I have so far. She's the hardest to stand because I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because this is so bulky, but when it comes to trying to get her to stand, it's very difficult. You gotta kind of you gotta lead her to the front a little bit. You know, it's, it's a balancing act. You know, it takes a minute to get her to stand. She looks cute. I like it probably not my favorite tail i think my favorite might have to go to riviera but this tail isn't bad at all it's not ugly or anything it's just different it's just different you know it's just different articulation her head does not move up and down but it does move side to side a little bit coming down to her chest she has a moving she has a joint right here she has a joint right here at the tail which is really really nice especially if you want to get like some, some pictures that make it look like she's swimming and stuff it's really, really nice. I mean, she does not sit. This is as far as she'll go back. So you just, yeah, you're not gonna be able to give our my girl a sit. You know what I'm saying? She's not gonna sit for real. She has articulation at the elbows. That's as far as it goes. And then her hands, I mean, then the wrist. And then also at the shoulders. So articulation is pretty nice. I know everybody wants this. Everybody wants that. And I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've heard in series two, we're gonna be getting tail articulation. So that is nice. Because I feel like these dolls have so much potential. Like it's very much giving me like Rainbow Hot. Like when they very first came out, of course when Rainbow High very first came out, I feel like people were excited for those dolls. But like Rainbow High just keeps improving and improving. And I really hope that they can do this and just shock all of us and come out with some amazing mermaid dolls with all types of articulation and stuff, you know? Cause I really feel like they could do that. I see that, I see that. Cause like the inset eyes, her eyes are just so beautiful. The eyelashes, but like she's everything. And like the brown, I just, I live for her. She's so, so cute. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to show you guys Chanel's color change. Her color change does change in cold water. So I have my big um, water that's been sitting in the freezer. So let's try it out. Oh, 
I believe hers only goes up to like a certain point. Y'all really do like her color change. It's probably, it's honestly probably my favorite because I really do like um, Kashiko's too, but I really love, love this blue on her. So I can't lie, when I very first got Shell now, I had to sit with her for a minute just to really, because to be honest, like this, a lot of the outfit doesn't really match. You know what I'm saying? It, the colors, it's a lot of different colors, but like, I feel like it kind of looks decent together. Would I like to change some colors and change some things about it? Of course. I really do like her blue tail. In some ways, I kind of wish her tail would be blue, but then it would kind of be a lot of blues going on. I don't know. Um, after staring at her for about a day, I don't hate it, you know? Is it the best outfit? Probably not, but I still think she's gorgeous. I still think she's really, really cute. And I think I would give her a good, good like seven out of 10. You know, she's, she's okay, she's okay. But I wanna hear all you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. And make sure you guys are always being yourself and staying true to who you are because you owe yourself that at least. Peace, y'all.